Modern military technology is impressive. Abrams tanks, which are in service with the US Army, have an armor that is fortified with depleted uranium. A high-tech guidance system can take into account not only the type of weaponry being used, but even correct itself against the wind. Against a background of such technology, machine guns seem unimpressive, perhaps even ordinary in comparison. But some of the most powerful machine guns can tear through even the most heavily armored vehicles. What makes a machine gun powerful? Is it the caliber of bullet it fires? If so, then the Mark 38 is the most destructive and powerful modern machine gun on Earth. This is a gun designed for firing automatically with 25mm caliber rounds. For comparison, the legendary Gatling has a caliber of 7.62mm, and this is enough to destroy a wooden house in turn. That is, the Mark 38 bullets are so huge that this weapon is more likely a hybrid, half machine gun and half artillery. It was developed by McDonnell Douglas in 1986, and the American giant Alliant Tech Systems is engaged in its production. Despite being already over 20 years old, such a weapon remains relevant and effective. The cartridge's sleeve is almost the same length as from a soldier's elbow to their finger. With such a large caliber, a machine gun can turn a fortified battle boat or small warship into a metal sieve in a matter of minutes, destroy a building, or tear an armored car apart. This machine gun is ideal for arming a fleet. It weighs over 260 pounds pounds and with the installation weighs in at 1,250 pounds. The barrel length is longer than 8 feet, so infantry would not be able to move with such a monster across a battlefield. But this machine gun is ideal for a ship, with a two-man crew operating the gun. Whilst one person fires the weapon, another person can feed it ammunition. 252 rounds on a single magazine. With a sighting range of between 1 and 3.5 miles, a warship with such machine guns on board could safely attack a target located on the shore whilst staying a safe distance away. Moreover, this gun has an incredibly high rate of fire. In a minute, the barrel can fire 175 bullets. That is, three enormous bullets per second second, each one traveling half a mile per second. But still, for all its merits, the Mark 48 has a drawback. Despite acting as both a machine gun and a small cannon, it is too heavy for infantry. However, US armed forces have a quick-fire, large-caliber weapon for use by the average jarhead. These are the legendary M2 Browning .50 BMG machine guns. This is a rare case when a weapon does not become obsolete for decades. The first model, the M2 Browning, appeared in service with the US Army in 1933. The basic principle of operation of this weapon was so effective that it was never abandoned. How did such a machine gun survive competition with other, newer models? The fact is, the M2 Browning has been constantly upgraded and improved upon, with the last wave of refinement occurring in 2011. In 2019, the latest model, the M2A1, entered service with the US Marine Corps. The M2A1 is not a weapon that'll suit the average trooper because of its vast dimensions. The barrel alone weighs over 20 pounds, with the entire gun weighing in at over 70 pounds. Yeah, it's not easy for a detachment of soldiers to move such a gun, and the installation can take several minutes, but this is compensated by the M2A1's incredible firepower. Although the M2 Browning caliber is half that of the Mark 38, this is more than enough to bring down a low-flying aircraft. This gun can be fired accurately at a distance of over a mile away. From this distance, not only enemy personnel can be targeted, a bulletproof vest won't help, but also military vehicles and armored boats can be destroyed. The emphasis of this weapon is shifted to its rate of fire. In a minute, the machine gun can fire up to 635 bullets. Uh, by the way, there are special aircraft models where the rate of fire reaches 1,200 bullets per minute. That's 20 shots per per second. Regarding the modifications, the latest achievement in improving this machine gun was the installation of a removable barrel. It can be replaced in a couple of minutes by a single soldier. In addition, it comes with a flame arrester that suppresses 95% of fire produced per shot, as well as special mounts for sniper scope and other additional equipment. What, you thought a machine gun couldn't be used for sniping? Think again. The most famous use of the M2 Browning occurred during the Vietnam War. The legendary sniper, Carlos Hathcock, upgraded his machine gun himself, putting a sight on it, and successfully firing single shots at targets from a distance of more than 2,000 yards. His record was only broken in 2002. But despite the achievements of individual soldiers, the most dangerous machine gun is the one that surpasses all of its counterparts. In terms of rate of fire, there are practically no rivals to the Russian AK-630 M2 Duet. This machine gun also has an installation that only a fleet could use. It weighs more than half a ton, and in addition comes with two barrels and an incredible amount of very complex electronics, which makes aiming and following a moving target easier. But of course, the main thing is its rate of fire. In a minute, the AK-630 M2 Duet 
fires a record 10,000 bullets from both guns. Each gun has six barrels, so the unprecedented rate of fire can be explained this way. The previous record belonged to another six-barreled gun, the legendary Gatling. We'll tell you more about this one at the end. True, it could release 6,000 bullets per minute and had only one gun of six barrels, not two like the AK-630 M2 Duet. But since the AK-630 M2 Duet is united by one guidance system, this weapon has 12 barrels. Such dense firepower allows the machine gun to splatter any object with lead in a matter of seconds. Since the caliber of the gun is 30 millimeters, we're talking the kind of damage normally reserved for artillery. The main goal of the AK-630 M2 Duet is to protect the ship from airborne threats. This rate of fire allows for effective action even against supersonic aircraft at distances up to nearly two and a half miles and altitudes up to five miles such a large caliber makes it possible, with the help of one or two installations, to destroy a medium-sized warship. Dodging such a stream of bullets is extremely difficult. Therefore, the enemy can forego any avoidance and fortify their equipment with heavy armor that can withstand any hit by large caliber weapons. Though, perhaps this isn't needed. After all, the US Army has the GAU-8 Avenger. This seven-barreled machine gun is the main weapon of the A-10 Thunderbolt II fighter. The weight of this refueling aircraft reaches 10 tons, and two of them are made up from this heavy but incredibly powerful machine gun. In a minute, this machine gun can fire up to 4,200 bullets. It shoots armor-piercing shells of the same caliber as the AK-630 M2 Duet. It's just a different cartridge design, has the most powerful machine gun mechanism, and uses depleted uranium core bullets to give each shot so much power that in a matter of seconds, it can tear several heavily armored tanks to shreds. There's almost no armor in the world that could protect against such bullets. Whilst the A-10 Thunderbolt II is a subsonic aircraft and is somewhat outdated, the modern US air defense system System simply will not let this aircraft go. All these monster machine guns are impressive with their firepower, but I must admit, their dimensions bring them too close to both heavy weapons and artillery. Usually, a machine gun is large, has a large caliber, and needs to be used by several soldiers. Yet, among the machine guns that can be used by a single or a pair of soldiers, there are also really impressive specimens. For example, the Stoner 63A Command, which was developed in the 1960s, is a light machine gun which can be carried and used by a sole soldier. However, the power of the machine gun is such that it can release up to 1,000 bullets in a minute. For light machine guns, not only of that time, but also currently in production, this is one of the best rates of fire. Of course, in order to shoot from it, the machine gun needs to be installed on the ground. Otherwise, the recoil will render any aiming pointless. Another light machine gun that has proven itself on the battlefield is the Belgian M240 FN Mag. Its advantage is its relative ease of use. This machine gun weighs only about 24 pounds, including the butt of the gun, so carrying this weapon is quite convenient when compared with other machine guns. In addition, the M240 FN Mag is the so-called single machine gun, meaning that it's universal in its application. On the one hand, light enough to be used by one soldier while standing or from a lying position, but simultaneously powerful enough to be fixed on military vehicles and even aircraft, all thanks to its incredible rate of fire. This machine gun can fire between 650 to 1,000 bullets per minute. With an accurate aiming range of just over a mile, this makes it extremely effective when laying down suppressing fire, protecting against infantry attacks, and attacking light vehicles. Now get ready to meet a legend. The Gatling family of machine guns, for example, the GAU-17 model, will not be included in our list. Why not? After all, it's one of the most famous light machine guns in the world, seen in hundreds of action movies of the 80s and 90s. Back then, directors tried to impress the viewer not with computer graphics, but with the power of real weapons. The reason is that this family falls into the category of mini guns, and their key feature is its rotating six barrels. Giant machine guns, which are installed on fighter jets and ships, inherited this principle of operating with several barrels precisely from the Gatling. It first appeared back in 1862. It was patented by American Richard Jordan Gatling, who was an inventor and a doctor. Back then, the weapon was on large wheels, and a soldier would twist a special handle to rotate the barrel drum. Even such a simple method of firing allowed it to fire more than 200 bullets per minute, a record at the time. Even if aiming was near enough impossible, it was excellent for suppressing fire. True, it wasn't so much a truly terrifying weapon at the time, but only with time did this type of weapon 
begin to use recoil as part of its shooting mechanics, which helped develop it into a real machine gun. Its barrels did not shoot simultaneously. Instead, there was a constant rotation of the barrel drum counterclockwise, with a bullet being fed into the barrel when at the 5 o'clock position relative to the gun's center, a shot being fired when the barrel moved to the 12 o'clock position, and the ejection of the sleeve at 6.30. Thanks to this rotation, the barrels were better cooled and could be fired for longer. The Gatling machine gun gained fame due to the fact that to use it will push a person to the very limits of their physical capabilities. Its weight is over 60 pounds, and to shoot it from a standing position, you will need to be a Terminator. The recoil is that strong. This machine gun can nowadays produce between three to 5,000 bullets per minute, although the caliber of the bullet is not as large as some of the giants from this list, namely 7.62 millimeters. However, even one such machine gun would be capable of performing suppressing fire perfectly and shooting light equipment. Which of these powerful machine guns would you like to shoot for suppressing fire? True, it wasn't so much a truly terrifying weapon at the time, but only with time did this type of weapon begin to use recoil as part of its shooting mechanics, which helped develop it into a 